hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts. Hello friends, this is Yundel and today's share is from the book of Hebrews 3.15 as it says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. This is just a share from my own reading today from the book of Hebrews. As I live in my day-to-day -day spiritual life, I am sharing with you every day some thoughts to think of. Why I am sharing this with you? Because I am making it a purpose in my life to read every day, to motivate myself, to inspire myself. And I am sharing this with you. Why? Because it helps me and I hope it can help you too. Yes, the scripture says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Don't ignore it. Sometimes, the still, small voice of God speak to us about very practical matters. You're not eating healthy. This is not good for you. And it keeps going on. Hearing it again and again. Pushing it down. Don't ignore what the whisper you are hearing. Yes, you need to get to work on time or you need to treat your spouse better. You need to watch your words. These are gentle whispers. We have to understand these gentle whispers impression in your spirit, not your mind. Your intellect may say, it's fine, but deep in your spirit, you know you should do it. When we understand that the whispers are for our benefits, the whispers are God who is leading us to the right path. We won't ignore them. Don't push them down. Be quick to obey when you don't feel at peace about the purchase, you put it back right when you feel the right prompting to spend time with your child, you turn the situation around. You have to feel uneasy about being with someone. The alarm is going up. Be aware right away. Trust your sensor and make the change of your situation don't ignore it obey what god's whisper is in you because god he is the one that put the most practical ways speaking to you about everything that you are involved with God is directing you for your own good benefit and leading you to the best path. You must believe and declare that God is committed to you. All we have to do is to be committed to obeying to His will as well and listen to that still small voices today. Listen to the small whispers today. As it says in the scripture, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. You have to listen to the small voices in order for you to know which is the right path for you. You have to think quickly that those signs is for you to take so you can choose the right path for you our instincts our feelings can lead us sometimes to the right path when we become 
a good listener of our own feelings when we become good to ourselves and obey what are the signs God had given us. When you hear God's whisper, don't ignore it. Be quick to obey and do something which is good for you and for God because He is the one leading you to the right path to get what you want in your life, to fulfill your destiny, to be there for you through thick and thin. God leading you down to the best path. We won't ignore them. We must be quick to obey because He is the Father of the universe. We belong to Him. We must just learn to trust our own sensor and make that change when we hear the small God's whisper in life. Be quick to obey so you can live your best life. This is Yundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my channel. I love you all and bye-bye.